Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create custom map key and how to set up custom icon for the map key. It will be a simple example that for example if you will create new 3D model and into 3D model we would like to for example open the web page. So directly yeah, for example you are looking for some 3D model or for tutorials and so on. So first of all how to create a map key or the key sequences, what you would like to do by keyboard is really easy because you can use this search and write map. It's good enough because the system will open to you the map key and you can select the map key and then it's possible to create a new one. I will create a new one and key sequence I would like to use the 4K and description will be for example 4K site and you can write here what the system will do open web page yeah, for example like this it's up to you how you will really describe but necessary thing is that you can use the keyboard shortcut or keyboard sequences for now i would like to use the function record map key and i will directly select record and i will open the embedded browser and over here in the menu I will select the 4K site slash tutorial HTML. The system will open the web page and you can stop the map key. If you will come from OK, the system asks you that be careful because some key sequences are um, same as existing with default configuration. So yes, of course, I'd like to use my custom one and then I'd like to save my map key in the current config profile. So I will select the save changes and I will select actual config profile what I'm using. If I will close, we can simply test if the map key is working. So for example, I will select 4K right now from my keyboard, will automatically open the web page. So perfect. Right now, but we would like to continue with customization of the ribbon and we would like to create our custom icon. How it works? Again, it's really easy. You can select in the ribbon right mouse button and select customize the ribbon and the system allow to you to see the current design mode and you can specify where we would like to place. You can see here that right now we are in the model so I'd like to into model create my custom additional information so we can create new group or new tab here yeah, but for now I'd like to create new group the system will specify it here for example if we would like to move it a little bit no problem you can place it as the first second another one and you can see that system will automatically move it as you want so no problem for example we will place it at the end of this tab and you can choose the function rename and you can set for example name that is the web yeah doesn't matter for now the system will show me that is the web you can simply add here in the selected group the existing icon or you can choose your map key and right now you can see that i am using two map keys first one is model check we have been spoken last time and the day I have created web. So I will move this web into right side and you can see that system automatically show me as the small icon. Yes, yeah, same like this one. I like to use the huge one so you can use directly from here right mouse button and choose additional option and same functionality are here. Yeah, so you can choose as you want but I prefer to use the right mouse button directly from here and I said that I like to use the large button. Perfect. So it's like I need, but smiling. Yeah. So smiling is always good because we are positive, but we would like to place our custom icon. First of all, button image, and you can choose button or choose from existing. Yeah. If I will choose from existing, the system will show me the lot of default icons, what are included directly with Creo installation. Yeah, so for example, quickly only for the example that you can place it here. And then if I will select right mouse button again, 
I can edit button. Yeah. So for example, you will choose what you want and then you can, for example, make some color here and place and play with it. Yeah. So it's up to you how we would like to set and what will be written there. So it's up to selection of this point. You can erase a couple of them and the system will create transparent part. Yeah. So it's up to you right now. Something here yeah, for really quickly. You can see the system automatically change the visualization as needed. If I will select again right mouse button and button image, I can choose button image and you can see that system automatically can read the PNG file. You can prepare your PNG file, browse and select. So the system will convert selected icon to 32 to 32. Yes, of course, I'd like to confirm and everything is fine. If you will confirm OK, the system will automatically save this current customization into UI file directly in the working directory. So in the next time, if you will run Creo, the system will automatically read customization UI file and every information will be included. Map key is from config profile and visualization of the map key and placement directly from customization UI file. Last but not least, we would like to test if the map key is working. So you can select the icon from the ribbon. The system will load the web page and you can go through the tutorials what I've created before, or you can focus on the customization, downloads, rendering, pictures and animation, and so on and so on. So I hope so that you liked today's video tutorial regarding how to create custom map key and icon and understanding a config pro and customization UI file for the custom preferences. Thanks for your like donation and stay tuned. Bye-bye. Vladimir.